Hi, it's your coach, Joe Lucas. Welcome to your Practice Power Daily Coaching video for Wednesday, September 18th. Let me ask you a question. What's the most important element in order for you to be successful? So in order for you to you know, achieve your ideal life and lifestyle, in order for you to make all the money you want to make, in order for you to have everything that you want to write down in your goals and your business plan, which are hopefully you're using Practice Power for, what's the most important thing? What's the, what's the key element in all this? And I'm not going to sit there and waste everybody's time because I know it's early morning here. It's you. This, this, all of this, this is the most important resource you have. I call it your economic engine. This is the economic engine of your business, you. Now, why do I bring this up? Very simply, a lot of you do not take care of the engine. You abuse it. You drive it into the ground. You don't tune it up, right? You don't do the things that are necessary. In our industry, I can't tell you when I talk to people, and the reason why I'm saying this to you today is I just had a, a former client who's been gone for a while come back into my world, and you know, we all that happens, right? And you know, I get an email from him, and, he, and he, I get on the phone with him the other day, and we start talking. And I said to him, I said, Well, you know, tell me what's going on in your world. And he kind of, and his, by the way, his numbers are good, so it's not like he's economically failing. But when I talk to him about kind of how he's operating, you could just, it just, he's burnt out. And I asked him, I said, when's the last time you had a vacation? I mean, like, like a week or two away, right, from everything. And you know what? He couldn't answer the question. Couldn't think of it. That, to me, tells me right there we got a big challenge. In our industry, it's easy to be burnt out. It's easy to, to, to tell yourself that or, or, you know, not give yourself permission to take care of yourself because there's always another phone call to do. You're never caught up. And look, none of us are ever caught up. If I showed you my list, of projects, tasks, things I want to accomplish in Evernote. I mean, it's like it's like this long. I mean, there's like literally a hundred things on there. But I still get downtime. You know why? Because I know I need to be at my best for all of you. As you need to be at your best for all of your clients. My point being, if you're not operating with a strategic calendar, right, and, and compel yourself to get downtime, you're burnt out. I'm telling you, and in this industry, the way it works, and we're gonna I can do a whole maybe 10 minute video on this, and maybe I will do that shortly is that you come in and here's kind of the uh, warning signs, if you will, the markers for being burnt out. You don't do your morning ritual or you kind of fluff through it. You don't really worry about your daily game plan. You just kind of, well, whatever, right? You kind of come in, you do, you, your brain says this, I just want to get through the day. That's not driving results, my friends. That is exactly survival mode, all right? And then your production kind of stinks, right? You're not driving the results, and then you feel guilty. So then you say to yourself, well, I definitely can't take any downtime because look at my results. They're horrible. And so you'll suffer more. You'll punish yourself more. And it's a vicious, vicious, vicious cycle. you got to break the cycle. One of the things I do as a coach is I kick my clients out. You know, I say, look, get out of the office. Take a couple days. I don't want to see you in the office. I call that office. You're there. You're not going to have a problem. Why do I do this? Because I know that this you have to get downtime. This is a sprinter's business these days, no longer a marathoner's game, all right? So keep that in mind. And look, if you're a little crispy, do yourself a favor. We've got to push to the end of the year here. Don't say, oh, man, I can't. I'll just deal with it in December. You're going to fail between now and then. Don't do that to yourself. Have a great day.